Your aura is one of the more vibrant ones I have seen in some time. Uh, okay. Here's your weapon back. Thanks. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello. I have to go now. Okay. Amy, didn't expect to see you back so soon. Yeah, I remembered that I had something else to talk to Danton about. No big deal, really. Don't mind me. Whatever you say. You again? I'd like to speak with Danton, please. Fine. Wait here. So you're back. What is it now? I know who you are and what your people are doing. I'd, I'd like to help. I'm flattered that you want to help us, but I feel we have some matters to resolve first. What matters are those? Enough of these games. You're going to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here alive. What? I have been. Let's not be so drastic. Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm stupid? I had you followed when you left here. I know you went to the Ministry of Energy. Now I'm only going to ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you working for Tiberius or aren't you? I am. I was told to spy on you and report everything I can. Well, you're either a terrible spy, or your loyalty to Tiberius is quite lacking. It's a lottery job. I'm just doing what I was told. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not going to make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? What are you talking about? You have access to vaccine? Not just yet, but if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon and Gus? Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. I had no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for you. Oh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. Uh. 
How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. Interesting company you keep downstairs. So, you're working for them now, are you? It seems that way. We've been hard-pressed to find new recruits. You're a welcome sight. People are scared. Between the plague and rumors of the Reaper going around, nobody wants to get their hands too dirty if they could help it. Well, except for me. I guess it's easier to be consistently miserable than to take a tough road to happiness. You're starting to sound like Danton now. Be careful where you say that. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. How are you doing today, Gus? Cause I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so loud. Sorry. So, how long have you been, you know? About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. It makes me feel like I'm part of something important. Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. I'm not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right, sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the others? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective match. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is the old Centrex factory, even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough. I can't lose her, too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! Looks like you had quite the harvest. Yes, thankfully. Though nothing is keeping very long, weeds have become a big problem. Anything you want? You're looking very skinny these days. You should eat. Take a pumpkin. Half price for you. You can make pumpkin soup. You need your strength. Ah, uh, no. It's okay. One of these days, you'll get so skinny, you'll turn around and I won't be able to see you anymore. It's all right, Marishka. I ate yesterday. I'll be fine for a little while longer. No, no. You worry me when you say things like that. Relax. It's okay. I'm not dead yet. You said something about weeds being a problem? What are they called? What do they look like? Blue burglar. It grows very fast, very difficult to control. Pretty blue flowers, though. Too bad they ruined my vegetables. Luckily, I finally got them under control. They won't come back for a long time. Marishka, is this by any chance the weed you were telling me about? Yes. Take it away, Amy, and be careful. You let that thing get into the ground, and before you know it, they're everywhere. I'll be careful with it. I promise. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? It just says, Furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning. I 
would have expected these things to be completely boarded up, or at least sealed. Huh, it's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Denby, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. Pretty. Too bad the legs are broken. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah, I keep them around for inspiration. These are nice. Yeah. That furnace could really be useful. This is a really great find. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Take care of yourself, Denby. I'll try my best. Remember Blast Day. Support the aristocracy, and you will be supported. Centrex. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium glass before the bombs. take any more wood right now. I haven't got time to do much scavenging right now. Maybe later. I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try knocking. Fair point. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. Not much I can do with the outside of the furnace. It's best just not to touch it. I learned that the hard way. Hey, try not to touch the drawings, okay? Sorry. Hey, these are pretty good. All yours? Yeah, they're okay, I guess. My favorite's the one of the pilot. What are all these signatures? Like I said, I've been practicing copying handwriting. Those are just my practice sheets. They're of no use to me. Harsh. Pretty. Yeah. I don't want to risk damaging it any further. Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. I'm guessing this valve must control some kind of gas flow. Assuming it still works, of course. Yep, it does. Must be some kind of drain. It doesn't smell very nice down there. That's not my fault, in case you were wondering. I wasn't, but thanks for the clarification. There's nothing- I'd be worried if there was. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah, and then the burnt smell will linger for days. I don't see how I can use that there. Hey, Denby? Yeah? How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. 
not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just... I felt like I was getting in the way. Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Does any of the stuff in here still work? Yeah, I, I think the furnace still works. It's connected to the gas anyway. The gas is still on? Yeah, it's on a natural line, so it's still under pressure even though the power's been cut. I try to keep it off as much as I can, though, just in case. Besides, if you need natural gas, I've pretty much got you covered. Good to know. Just don't light yourself on fire. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. My cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. The bucket is heat resistant, but it's also empty. Time for me to go. Okay, see ya. you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about my sheep. Take a look around. Hell, just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. ravens hanging around. Well, they're hungry, too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. The little bastards have gotten bold, too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I didn't realize you knew so much about the Reaper cult. I don't, and I don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the Reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the Reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half widow believes that crap and sees a raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhicky, all of it. Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. 
I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. And pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hell hole, that's all we can ask for in our last moment. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about, but it's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but this was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Anytime, Amy. What did you... Ran out of feed. Haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying... I'll keep an eye out. That'd be mighty kind of I'm... Is that a... F yeah. Did God... Tell me what. Uh... Whatever you say. I have to go... Come back and visit whenever... Pop, have you seen this weed before? Sure, that's Blue Burglar. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Where'd you get it? There's some growing near my place. Why is it called Blue Burglar? Because it creeps up on you seemingly overnight. Find just one in your whole field to be full of them in a month. Would your sheep eat it? I think they'd eat anything at this point. Wouldn't hurt to try. Thanks, Amy. I'll go get some more and plant it tonight. At least the sheep we've got left might still stand a chance. Happy to help. From out here, the city looks kind of whole, like the pictures in Nelson's books. These don't look like they've been used for quite some time. They look like they would fall apart as soon as I touch them. Say, Pop, would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. The gas mask's filter is empty, which makes it pretty useless. It's just perched in the tree watching me. I can't just go around shooting everything I see. I have to conserve ammo. I can't just... Uh, poor thing. Poor thing. That one is feasting on the corpse of a sheep. At least someone around here is getting regular meals. I wish these birds would stop staring at me. Shoo! Shoo! That old thing has been broken for years. I don't know why Pop doesn't just take it down. Butcher, 
a word, if you would. Yeah, what is it? The Ministry of Resources is in need. You are hereby requested to provide your stocks of meat for government distribution. But I hardly have any meat to spare, and it'll be a while before I can get more. Be that as it may, Aurelius has extended you the courtesy. In exchange, you will be provided two water purifiers per month. I don't know. I have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry. But know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I saw you having words with that guard. What was that all about? Eh, yeah, nothing. He was just trying to get me to sell out to the government. I promised Danton I'd give the rebels my extra supplies. I'm not betraying her for the wigheads. I admire your loyalty. Your sheep should be fine now. Really? What did you do? Just gave Pop some blue burglar. He said it should be able to feed the sheep soon. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Amy. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help. See you later, Gus. You bet. It's in no condition to be operate. Clem has a heart. Hey, Gordon. Amy. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye. Gordon, I found this gas mask, but the filter is empty. Would it be of any use to you at all? Yes, this is good. If I could get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Thank you, Amy. Here, I have something you might like to trade. What is it? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and dropped his flintlock pistol. It got a bit damaged, but I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. And don't worry, I'll find a filter for you, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I'll see you later. I look forward. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you. I think I'd like to read for Of course. I want to read up on science. Wonderful. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. Attention citizens, if you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. I can't see Medicine. any reason to look around. Doing so will save lives.
The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Just had to come back, huh? Eh, I keep you around for some things. Oh, knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy to see me. Must be some kind of dream. That's not my... I wasn't. Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to... Thanks. There of no heart. Nothing going on in there right now. But there is the smell of gas wafting out. That's a start. It wasn't me, I swear. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah, and then the burnt smell will... I'm not sure how I can use those things together. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. I see no reason to just toss this perfectly good piece of wood into the fire. You never did strike me as a pyromaniac. Now that is a nice sight. Yeah, it really makes this place feel homey. They're of no use. Heart. be some kind of dream. That's not my fault. I wasn't. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if... I'm not putting this... I don't see... It. I shouldn't leave. Don't get into any trouble, Dunby. I won't if you won't. to see you. I think I'd like to read for a while. Of course. I want to read up on science. Wonderful.
plank of wood is pretty sturdy. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I'm looking for salt, like the kind you use on meats. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while, and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile, and you'll find it. Thanks. Will do. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hello, Marushka. Amy, hello. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. Am I hearing things or is that music? I'm surprised this thing hasn't been chopped down for firewood yet. Looks as though someone has been excavating for salt here. Probably Gus. Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. Salt is useful for preserving meat, but it can also have some more creative applications. I don't think I need any more salt. Looks like this train has been here a long time. I wonder when the last time it actually ran was. It's locked. How odd. Hmm, this door looks as though it's been in use recently. It's locked. How odd. That's not going to help me get this door open. way beyond any sort of help now. Hey, Denby? Yeah? You know, I've got the perfect life. What the hell are you talking about, Amy? Have you gone crazy? No, I... Oh, just forget it. I'll just leave you to... Thanks.
nothing going on in there right now, but there is the smell of gas. It wasn't. Randomly throwing salt into a furnace doesn't seem like a very good idea. But it might make for some cool sparks. I see no reason it. You never did strike me. Not a bad idea, but I should put the wood in some kind of container first. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. I can't remember the last time I actually saw one of these. I'm not putting this in some... What are you doing? An experiment. Boring. Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool then. I don't think he'd be interested in that. I'm not giving away my lottery ticket. Here, I think you dropped this. Oh, sweet! I was gonna go back tonight and steal... Uh, I mean, I was gonna think about what a shame it was that I didn't have any more chalk. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad I saved you the trouble at any rate. Yeah. Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if there was. Dendy's working on a portrait of me. That's cute. Don't flatter yourself, Amy. I shouldn't leave while the furnace is on. So, did your experiment work? Don't be so nosy, Denby. Nice! The wood burned long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Burning the salt-infused wood left me with this lump of activated carbon. Don't get into any trouble, Denby. Hey, I'm not the one going around setting stuff on fire. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? 
I'm still on the lookout for something to fix your gas mask. Thanks. Hopefully something to replace the filter won't be too hard to come by. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I... I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. I thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. Merchant, a word if you would. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you ten food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I don't know. Ten food vouchers a week is a lot, but I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. Attention, citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. Glad to see you've returned. I assume you've managed to sort things out with our suppliers? Yes. You've done well, Amy. I think you'll get along here just fine. But understand this. Committing yourself to help the Resistance is not a promise made lightly. We require your full cooperation and transparency. No secrets or lies. Do I make myself clear? I understand, but remember not to ask for things you can't return. Naturally. Now come with me. Thank you for helping our suppliers. As you can probably tell, recruitment has been slow, which has hindered our progress. But I think with your help, we just may be able to initiate some changes. What is it you had in mind? That letter you brought us came from our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. It contained extremely valuable information. I need you to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine and confirm what this letter says. Do you have any questions? Can you tell me what it is I meant to find? Our contact was unable to provide the exact details in case the letter was intercepted. But if the information he did give us is correct, it means the government is covering up something very important having to do with the green lung vaccine. If you confirm this, it will be exactly what we need to expose the government's lies and incite a revolution. What if it turns out to be a false lead? It won't. Believe me, you'll find something in there. You have to. If you're so against the government, why do you use the Ministry of Medicine's symbol as your code to get in here? That's exactly what the aristocracy would expect. Having our own symbol would make us easier to find once they figured out what it was. Sometimes the best way to hide things is to put them in plain sight. What's the plan for getting me into the Ministry of Medicine? An excellent question. You know how the wealthy have contracts with the aristocracy based on their support when they first formed? I have a vague idea, sure. If a government supporter were to show signs of green lung, the aristocracy would waste no time in sending a doctor to treat them. I want you to go to Fripp Square. My sources tell me that a notable supporter has recently been showing symptoms of the plague. His name is Silas Harrison. He should be visited by a doctor very soon. Find out when and where the visit will take place. Then, intercept the doctor, disguise yourself, and enter the Ministry of Medicine. Once you've done that, you'll locate the central storage room, where they keep the vaccine supply. I suspect that's where you'll find what we're looking for. Maybe I should write all this down. It's a lot to keep track of. 
No. I'm sorry, but we can't have a paper trail. I trust you'll be able to make this happen. I know it's complicated and dangerous, but believe me when I say this information will change everything. This Milton, who was he? Why did knowing my father make him trust me? As I mentioned before, he was our double agent in the Ministry of Energy. With his help, we were able to establish our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. In the early days of the rebellion, Milton also recruited your father as the official mechanic. They were good friends. I never met Cooper myself, but my understanding is that he was just as loyal as Milton. Losing them both has been a blow. I think we'll manage though. After all, we have you now. You mentioned my father was with the Rebellion in the early days. How come he never mentioned it? It doesn't surprise me. The previous attempt at a Rebellion was met with disastrous failure. They didn't manage to get very far before being discovered and quelled by the aristocracy. Your father and Milton were the only original members to escape unharmed. It's taken us a very long time to get back on track, but I intend to avenge our forefathers and deliver the justice they died for. I guess I should get started. Good. Head over to Fripp Square and find out where Harrison is. That should get you close enough to intercept his doctor. You might also try checking at the Ministry itself. They might have some information on when the doctor is set to make his house call. Once you're in the Ministry, you can identify our contact by using the code phrase. I'm not sure how much help he'll be able to give you, but having an ally on the inside is at least better than nothing. I wish you luck, Amy. Remember that if you succeed, the Resistance will reward you in far greater ways than the aristocracy ever could. A somewhat crude map of the city. Looks like they're planning something near the Ministry of Energy Tower. Looks like she's writing down coordinates on that map. They must use this for target practice. The wig and noose are a nice touch. She's really good. I've never seen someone's hands move so quickly. I think it's meant for target practice, not boxing. I should probably leave it where it is. Remember to wipe your feet when entering. There are no maids in this resistance. Good day to you, merchant. Go away, you dog. I have nothing to say to you. Now, now, there's no need to be. I just try to make my living here. I have family to take care of and no help from the aristocracy. 
Well, if you would just let me... My brother Pavel went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's dead. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch us starve. You are young. You do not remember life before the bombs. It was different. Guards were our friends, not monsters. I appreciate your position, but... Look, I think it's best if you just go. She's clearly upset. Fine. I was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. Oh, thank you, Amy. I always get so angry when I see those guards. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! You really shouldn't make trouble with the guards. I'm not making trouble. It's them who are causing all the problems. You know as well as I do, you haven't got a brother named Pavel. Well, they need to understand that life's not easy for us. It's not like they do anything about it anyway. Just try not to get so riled up, Marishka. He was trying to help you out. The day I take help from those dogs is the day I die. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Ah, Fripp Square. I do so love the dirty looks I get from people when I walk through here. This poster is encouraging people to get vaccinated for green lung. If only it were that easy for everyone. Hello there. May I help you with something? So you're a town crier? What do you actually do? I deliver the news to the people of Fripp Square. They ask about specific headlines, I tell them. Some sort of breaking news arrives from the government? I read it. It's rather simple, really. Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Terrorists rumored in the market district. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone. And the weather report. So, what'll it be? Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Fine. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. The Ministry of Energy released a report saying that they have succeeded in restarting 60% of the city's reactors. As a result, more power will be available, starting with the area around Fripp Square. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. May I... Have you heard the name Silas Harrison? I have, yes. He's fairly well known around these parts. Can you tell me anything about him? Like where he lives? Lady, I'm a town crier, not a town directory. If you want to put your nose where it don't belong, you're better off talking to Flora and Genevieve on the other side of the square. Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Terrorists rumored in the market district. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone. And the weather report. So, what'll it be? I'd like to hear mysterious objects spotted over quarantine zone. Right you are. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors have persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities.
pretty dramatic statue. I guess that must be the eponymous Mr. Fripp. He looks fairly lost in thought. That raven makes the statue look a lot classier. This guy's picked a very strategic location. You know, I have to admit, this one is kind of cute. I'd rather not get too close. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Silas Harrison. Do you know him? Know him? Not personally, but I know who he is, certainly. You wouldn't happen to know where he lives, would you? I'm afraid not. I never had any cause to pay him any social calls at his home. My apologies. I'm Amy Wellard. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Amy. My name is Maximilian Huber, but please call me Max. Do you live around here? Yes, just around the corner, but ever since my wife passed, I like to get out of the house and spend time with my friends. Your friends? Yes, the Ravens. So, how much time do you spend with your friends? Not all day, but most of it. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? How those Reaper cultists have turned them into a symbol of fear is beyond me, but to each his own, I suppose. I only wish I had something to feed them with. The poor things look terribly hungry. What do they eat? Anything, really. Meat, vegetables, insects. They're not picky eaters by any means. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. This is the intersection of Jordan Street and Booth Avenue. That's Nero's banner. He's in charge of the Ministry of Knowledge. The Ministry of Knowledge. It's where they keep all the documents and educational materials from before the bombs. Extremely limited access, of course. conversation with her friend, but I can't quite make out what they're saying from here. I can't just go around shooting people. 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 I can't just... Uh, excuse me? Yeah, oh. Where did you come from? She looks like she just came from the quarantine zone. Don't be silly. You know nobody ever leaves that awful place. In any case, I'm sure you've got a lottery job you should be doing. Why don't you run along and leave us to our conversation? Hmm. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need some new servants. I was entertaining guests the other day, and they kept interrupting. Good help just keeps getting harder to come by. <laughs> no, you absolutely must not. I can't just go around. I can't just. I can't. I. 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 I can't just go around shooting people. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I don't think. I don't think she'd be. Why did you even put up? <laughs> no, you absolutely must not. A little too modern for my needs. Plus, I don't think the people around here would take too kindly to scavengers. There's no way I can just walk in there. I'd have to fill out heaps of paperwork. I can't just go around shooting people. 
I'd sooner cut off my own tongue before speaking to those snobs again. help you with something? Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generator, terrorists rumored in the market district, mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone, and the weather report. So... I want to hear terrorists rumored in the market district. If you wish. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Rumors have surfaced of a group of terrorists headquartered somewhere in the market district. These dissidents are to be considered armed and extremely dangerous to public safety. Anyone with information leading to their arrest is encouraged to report to the nearest aristocrat guard. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. That's a nice statue, although the base looks a bit unstable. Must be some kind of checkpoint for visitors. Doesn't look like it would be very comfortable in there. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? You know someone named Silas Harrison? Silas Harrison? The name sounds familiar. But then, I see plenty of names on a daily basis. I have to write the name of all scheduled appointments here in my ledger. Don't suppose I could have a peek at your ledger? Afraid not, miss. This is for government eyes only. And, not to be rude, but you don't look like a government employee to me. Could you tell me about this building, sir? You don't get out much, do you? This is the Ministry of Medicine. They're in charge of all health-related issues in the city. So, this is where people come to get their vaccines? Correct. Entry is by appointment only, I'm afraid. I kind of figured as much. Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. I don't think he'd want... Going in there while the guard is around would get me in major trouble. Even if it wasn't locked, I don't think I could just go waltzing in there without permission. Let's hope this works. What was that? What a mess. I told them this would happen eventually. <sighs> Let's just have a look at this ledger. Here we go. Silas Harrison is being visited by a doctor this evening for a green lung treatment. This information could be very important to certain people. Might be a good idea to take it with me. According to this page, Silas Harrison is getting a green lung treatment this evening at sunset.
I don't think she'd be. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. Get to Fripp Square and find Silas Harrison. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Do you know the two women over there? They're kind of rude. Them? No, oh, don't pay them any mind. They're just a couple of harpies who have nothing better to do with their time than gossip about everything. You should hear them any time the newsman reads out a headline. It's non-stop chatter. But please, let's discuss something more worthwhile, shall we? Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. I think he'd be interested in that. I think you should have a look at this. Interesting. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Silas Harrison, noted government philanthropist, has contracted green lung. He is due to begin medical treatment this evening. Anyone who has had contact with Harrison is advised to monitor their symptoms and to notify the Ministry of Medicine if they begin feeling ill. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I'm not picking up those ladies' garbage. I'd sooner cut off my own tongue. It's just she seems to be having some private conversation with her friend. It's a small waste bin. It appears to be almost full to the brim. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. May I? Can I hear? Very well. Right now, Ministry of Energy Terrorists rumored in the Market District. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone. The weather report. And Silas Harrison gets green lung. So, what'll it be? What's the weather report? You'll soon find out. Attention citizens. The following is an important news bulletin. Weather conditions are as follows. Partly cloudy with a 0% chance of rain. Today's high will be 24 degrees Celsius, and the low will be 20. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy Re Terrorists Mysterious The Weather Report and Silas Harrison Gets Green Lung. So, what'll it be? Could you repeat Silas Harrison Gets Green Lung? Okay. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Silas Harrison, noted government philanthropist, has contracted green lung. He is due to begin medical treatment this evening. Anyone who has had contact with Harrison is advised to monitor their symptoms and to notify the Ministry of Medicine if they begin feeling ill. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities.
Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Hey. What do you want? What's your theory on what's inside the Ministry of Medicine? Knowing the aristocracy, it could be just about anything. But from what I've heard Danton say, it's definitely something big. How'd you get involved with Danton anyway? She's family. She is? Yeah. When her parents died of green lung, she was left homeless and forced to beg on the streets. My folks took pity and adopted her. She can be kind of hot-tempered and rush into things, but I try and keep her in check as best I can. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Don't bother. The aristocrats cut out her tongue. My God! That's awful! Why would they do that? She used to work for the Ministry of Knowledge. She was caught stealing books, and that was her punishment. Apparently, Claudius did it himself. Ugly business. Need any help with that? Nah, I'm alright. Is that an Ellen wrench? Yep. Scavenged it out of the waste. I got lucky. I'll say you did. I've been looking for one for ages. Can let you borrow this one once I'm done with it, if you need it. I don't want to break her concentration. Don't waste time with that, Amy. You've got more important things to be doing. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. Couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. Have you got any meat I could feed ravens with? Ravens? Why would you want to feed those little pests? I feel bad for them. Everyone deserves to eat. Well, they're plenty fat from eating the dead sheep at the farm. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help feed those little monsters. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hello, Marushka. Amy, hello! Do you have any vegetables a raven might like to eat? Ravens? Yes, I see them around my garden all the time. They love my alfalfa sprouts. Have you got any for sale? Sure, but take this bag. On the house. Are you sure? Yes, I owe you after helping me with the guard. It's the least I can do. Thanks. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? It's full of alfalfa sprouts. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Uh, Have a nice... You too, my dear. I haven't got time to be feeding birds right now. Excuse me, sir. I got this bag of alfalfa sprouts. You know, so you can feed the birds. Thank you. This will certainly make the birds pleased.
Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. Those flying rats just knocked the waste bin over. Oh, the smell! Disgusting. I hope a street cleaner comes to clean it up. Seriously? It's about time someone came. Now, what was that you were saying, Genevieve? Can you believe Harrison kept his disease to himself? I know. I was just at his manor last week. Now I'll need to go to the ministry and get checked. Everyone on Threadson Street will. He should know better than to throw parties if he's got green lung. I'll bet his gardener gave it to him. His love of topiaries will be the death of him. Interesting. A mansion on Threadson Street with topiaries. I just hope Harrison's tastes are unique. This is the intersection of Jordan Street and Booth Avenue. Dr. Collins from the Ministry, here to see Mr. Harrison. Of course. He's in his room. Just walk down the hall. It's the fourth door to the left. Damn. Looks like I got here too late. But maybe there's still a way I can get close to the doctor without being seen. supposed to be. Interesting. Looks like the house goes back a ways in that direction. 